Hello, welcome and welcome back to Winspire Crochet. This is Ashley and today we will be unbagging and reviewing the Slytherin Serpent Crochet Kit from Woobles along with the little Slytherin scarf that it came with in the pack and I will also be showing you what is in the little Le Petit Pierre Wee Woobly pack that I got as well. So we will go down to the top down and let's open it up and see what we have inside. All right, let's get into it. I'm gonna just take these little ones and set them aside for now. We're gonna break right into the big one here. I'm super excited. It says that all materials are included. It's a learn to crochet kit for beginners. And on the back here, it has all the stuff that's included. It even comes with a four millimeter crochet hook and I hear that it is Slytherin themed. It says tear here to start woobling. So I'm ready. I'm ready to wobble. I already wobble, so why not wobble too? <laughs> All right, let's break into it. Now this is my first time trying out this yarn. So let's see what we have in here. Oh, this is interesting. So we have, oh, it even has like little branded wraps, Harry Potter, around there. It feels like t-shirt yarn. It's interesting. Oh, here's the hook. <gasps> Super excited about this. Ooh, it's it's got some weight to it. So it's a Harry Potter Woobles hook, Slytherin themed. That is super cool. Now it feels like it might be, is this like a polymer clay? It might be. Feels like it's a polymer clay or a really hard silicone. Mm, I think it's actually a really hard silicone. And it's so nice, nice and weighty. It's a four millimeter. You got some more yarn. So we have the green. Now, do these have colors? I don't think so. It is green. And with the Woobles, they start the magic ring for you. And they give you, they show you the stitch mark. They give you stitch markers and put them in the, I'm not sure if it's the last or the, I think it's like this. Yeah. And they put it in the first three stitches. So that's pretty nifty. We got some floof. It's what's inside that counts. Put these down here so you can see them. And that's empty bag. And then it comes with this, which is the Harry Potter and the wee woobly bits. That's cute. Harry Potter and the wee woobly bits. <laughs> and um, instructions inside. And oh my goodness, this this sticker is adorable. I don't know if I can get it to show. But he's a cute little sneaky snake. It's a cute little danger noodle. All right. I think the pattern links and stuff are in here. So let me just make sure. So I can show you this. And this is the meet the Slytherin serpent. Um, but on the other side is the QR code to access the video instructions. Inside here we also have a little bit of black yarn. A yarn needle and some safety eyes and they give you three so in case you lose one like i i have a tendency to do they give you three so that's what's in here and let me put them away now i'm very thankful they gave me this because i'm gonna lose everything in here so i'm probably just gonna put everything in here all right and i'll just put that back in there so this is everything that comes in here, minus this. This was um, a little extra add-on if I purchased the snake as well as the scarf. So next we're gonna open up the Slytherin scarf accessory kit. And inside we've got some more of the silver yarn. We've got dark green and we've got the card with the coat on the back. So that's all you get. Just 
two little skeins of yarn and the card all in here and while we're opening up woobly woobly kits let's open up this one it's not harry potter related but it is for le, P le petit pierre hopefully i'm not cutting anything important all right so we get a little bit of white a little bit of this very pretty blue a little bit of this black and a little bit of this yellow a little bit of fluff and it's not in it like a, a cellophane and just sort of sitting there like this and the card so that's everything in the Woobly's teeny tiny accessory kit for Le Petit Pierre in there. So you can see that these these uh, accessory kits do not come with needles, um, stitch markers. They don't come with your magic circle started, do they? It doesn't look like the magic circle is started here. Um, and... It's just the main kit that has all of those extra goodies. Now, I know you can probably get a cheaper one um, without the crochet hook, I believe. So that is an option for you as well. So that was the kits all open, all the goodies inside. So the next thing to do is to make these and see how I feel about the process. So you will see future Ashley when uh, she has made them for you and she will give you her final thoughts on the woobles. You might even see a little in progress making too along the way. So stay tuned. I started this with this hook, but unfortunately this hook, um, it's a four. It made very large holes and gaps in my work. And I think it's because I have a, just a very tight tension. Uh, surprisingly, that's the reason why this is a beautiful hook, but I am going to move down to a 3.5 and see how that goes. And, um, let's get to work. It has really big holes. That's the back of it. The holes in this are not, it's not cute. Look at these holes. Uh, oh well, it is what it is, I guess. I could go back, but uh, it is working better with the 4.0. Um, this is the dots 4.0 hook. It is working better. It's less sticky. I'm going to try and use my craft easy tool amigurumi eye placer to get these clipped in this is a very very old model it doesn't even look like this anymore but um, if i remember i will be sure to place the um, information about this down below the model has is different it's probably stronger it's probably better it's constantly changing but this is what i have for right now so i'm gonna try it and hopefully it works <laughs> while you guys watch me work I'm going to go over my thoughts about the kit first I want to talk about the hook the hook is beautiful I love that it is branded and that it has Slytherin on it 
it's probably one of my favorite hooks to look at, but it is not my favorite hook to use. It is a terrible hook to use. It feels very sticky. It was not a good feeling whatsoever. And actually, there is a great video by Elise Rose Crochet that goes over why it feels like that, and I will try to remember to link that video for you below. It is absolutely fascinating. When I worked with this, I uh, wanted to go to a 3.5 millimeter hook, but you really do want to stick with the 4.5, meaning the 4 millimeter hook. Downsizing doesn't work well with this yarn, from what I can see. Uh, I ended up switching over to a dots hook, but a clover hook could also work. Uh, either one will provide a better experience than the original hook that it came with. Uh, one of my thoughts is that potentially you could... Um, when purchasing the kit in the future, I believe you can purchase the kit without a hook. So that might be an option. As for the yarn, the yarn does feel like it's stressing out my hands and I don't know why. Uh, it feels like it's similar to working with cotton yarn. Couldn't tell you. But I love the, stif the stitch definition and the durability of the fabric. It really feels nice and looks great. One of the hardest parts for me while creating this project probably was assembling the snake. You have to curve it in a such a way that was a bit finicky and took quite a while to get just right. But again, I am super satisfied with the feel and sturdiness of the final product, so it's worth it. As for the materials... I do enjoy that the yarn doesn't snag like regular yarn, but it can. So what I mean by this is it doesn't, it doesn't snag as much, but I did get it stuck a little bit. As for the scarf, um, unfortunately I have lost the footage on making the scarf itself, but... The original scarf color change me method that they used looked rough in my opinion and I did not like it. So I tried a cleaner technique and I will try and um, remember to post a video here. It is the Spoonie Stitchers color change technique. She makes her own actually uh, scarf pattern for her Harry Potter tots. And I just preferred the way this looked so much better, and that is what I ended up doing. If you are an experienced crocheter, the video tutorials may be very slow. They are very slow. If you know what you're doing, they are extremely slow. These are definitely videos meant for a brand new crocheter. They're great for that. Uh, if you are experienced, just pick up the PDF. The patterns are wonderful, and you'll get right down to work. Are you ready to see the final snake? I am. Okay, this is just a snake without his scarf. But wait, patience. Hey, everybody, here is my finished sneaky snake. His name is Sal for Salazar Slytherin. Thank you, Shannon, for the idea. And he's very cute. Okay, next, I'm going to make the scarf. All right, get ready. Your patience is about to pay off. And it has been a considerable amount of time since I've recorded this video. But since I lost the footage of the final snake, I wanted to pop in and just show him to you here. Isn't he cute? Camera will focus. There. You may have seen him up in this area in one of my past couple of videos, but yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. What are your thoughts? Any recommendations for me about working with yarn such as this? Please drop them in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please drop a like down below. And if you like me, subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you know when there is a video out from me and I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys very soon. Bye everybody.